Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 526. In order for someone to out-Google Google, they're going to either have to deliver better search results or a very different search experience. So far, the search experience has been based largely on words and phrases. Algorithms created by all the different search engine companies attempt to filter out the nonsense in order to give us the best results they can. That often works just fine. We search, we get an adequate search result, and we're happy. How many times, though, have you gotten frustrated with search results? Happens to me all the time, and it's for that reason I can't wait for May when Wolfram Alpha is released. Wolfram Alpha is a search project Dr. Stephen Wolfram has been working on for years. He says the problem with current search technology is that we can only get answers to questions that have literally been asked before. Dr. Wolfram says we can look things up, but we can't figure anything new out. The Wolfram Alpha project uses advanced algebra to calculate the answers people ask. Think of it as a calculator for semantic questions. It won't match your questions to documents that might contain an answer. It will, if it succeeds, give you an answer. I can hardly wait. If you're interested in the project too, bookmark wolframalpha.com. I was on Ustream on Saturday when I noticed something new, the ability to stream live to your Ustream.tv account from an iPhone. After clicking through for more information, I found out a jailbroken iPhone is required. During the whole investigatory process, I learned about the Cedia store. The Cedia store plans to sell apps for the iPhone and iPod Touch that Apple won't approve with the same revenue split with developers that the App Store provides. The store's founder, Jay Freeman, says his end goal is to give iPhone users a choice. One of my favorite products in the world is the iTV Hybrid from Elgato. It turns a Mac into a personal video recorder and a TV. I'll be talking more about it in an upcoming episode, but this particular brief is about research, stuff that's in the works. While ITV is an external antenna system that connects via USB, Intel researchers have been working on a balanced antenna that can be installed inside a notebook, so we'll eventually be able to watch TV on our notebooks whenever there's a good digital signal. Intel is also working on a project called Multi-Client Display Linking. We've seen a hint of what this is all about on an earlier brief, but we're a little closer to seeing it in action. Imagine you're meeting with five other people at a coffee shop to talk about a project. Multi-client display linking will make it possible for the six of you to lay your mobile phones on the table to create one large display that takes advantage of all six of the smaller displays. One more. A guy, I think his name is Mitch Becks because his blog is called Mitch Becks Online. Anyway, he loves his Windows Media Center and had an idea to build the world's largest media center remote control. He took two Dance Dance Revolution mats for PlayStation 2, a converter box allowing him to attach them both to a PC, and then he wrote some code to map the supersized keys so they would correspond to the media center controls. You can copy his source code from his blog, MitchBex.com. That's it. I'm currently in fifth place in the competition for the best job in the world. I appreciate your vote once a day at islandreefjob.com slash Callie. Geek Brief will continue on the island if I win. Thanks for watching and thanks for using my promo codes GB1, GB2, or GB3 at GoDaddy.com when you buy a domain name for your next great idea. I'm Callie Lewis. I just looked into the light. I'm not a moth. Don't call me a moth. Dave Gurley. Stop.